got it. Okay. So the idea is I, I saw this like this this video where someone trains an AI to find where's Waldo on a page and it like I feel like you know, like a human can do it better. I think a human can find it faster and they just need some motivation. So um, we're gonna just give them incentive. We need to use the eye tracker to see how fast a human finds where's Waldo. So, and then if they don't, you know, like fucking, I don't know, like electrocute them or something. Okay, if I bring the eye tracker on, we can see where I'm looking on the screen. So I'm looking at like this dot here. Um, it's a little off because calibration's off, but if I move it, like a little bit, it gets, it gets in the general area and you can adjust for precision after. So let's see where I'm looking all over the screen and let me quit this cord. Now, no, turn off gaze track. So the idea is we want to track someone's vision. That's their vision, right? Fucking wherever it is on the screen. Ooh, could be over there, could be over here. Um, and we need to track it and find a select point where Waldo is, like a predetermined point where Waldo is. So, like, beep, that's what Waldo looks like, right? No, nope, that looks like a burglar. Um, a little poofy gray hat, glasses. No, that looks racist. Good enough, yeah, yeah. So, thanks, Lily. It's, um, wait, is Will in the chat? Hey, Will, how's it going, man? I don't think I told you about this project. Will Have you seen William Osmond? Yeah. What? I don't know if he's actually here, but, you know. So, eye tracker, Will, gaze track. Super nice little proprietary, um... Like device that these people have made, and they've only exposed the API to fucking C sharp .NET applications. Like, I mean, it's just .NET applications, but that's why I have to use C sharp. They've they've only made like a library for C sharp to engage with the with the eye tracker. So I would like much rather use Node.js or actually I'd much rather use Python for this because it involves a lot of GUI stuff. But good news is your boy needs knows um, C-sharp and WinForms, so boom, back to Visual Studio, and that's why we're here. So this is just like placeholder form. I think it's populated when you turn it on. Um, I can show it a little bit. Here, Lily, actually, yeah, actually, do you care about being on camera? So if you don't, oh yeah. All right, now it's all good. I'll, I can show it. If you start up Visual Studio, All right, so there's Wald. Where's Waldo? Right? And oh yeah, 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 true, true, true. true. <laughs> Looks pretty sick to us. Okay, this will do it. Okay, that comes up. So random where's Waldo puzzle comes up. This is like where Waldo is, and the little label is just a placeholder for where my eyes are. So it's gonna be keep. It's gonna keep moving around with the coordinates of the eyes. When I go over where's Waldo, it's not really calibrated very well, so. Uh, but the little button will turn from true to false, and this is like a area of error. So the more you turn it up, the easier it is to see him. Anyway. Um, we can go through the coding for it, which is the end to the cool part of the stream. That was probably the most interesting part we're gonna get. Hmm. 
Is Will actually in the chat? I would like. Oh. I'd like to see what he was typing if he were. Um, thank, you. thank you, Jake, for 10 gifted subs. That's epic. Okay, so going through the software for it, it's already kind of built out, so it's hard to know what's going on, but we can go from the beginning. Uh, WinForms just initializes a form. So we're in Visual Studio. It comes prepackaged with like a framework that lets you build GUI applications really easily. And I used to work in uh, WinForms actually, which is kind of lucky, but uh, it's it's sort of an outdated um, framework, but it is still not bad. Oh, let me change the music really quick. Oh, there's no music playing though. Well, no. mm. Oh fuck it. Well, sigh. <laughs> the default, yeah. All right. Get some music for this. Boring. All right. So things go from the top. Right here is kind of like the entrance for the software. There is like a like an actual main function over here, but all it does is set up the form to run. So imagine this class, like all of this text, right? All of this text represents this window, this box, right? So yeah, imagine that as a representation of uh, the code. So all this code goes into that rectangle. Um, we initialize all the components that are built on and maximize the window. Pretty straightforward. We should probably look at the like working principles of the game. So um, working principles go like this. We need to talk about how we get input from the eye tracker. So let's go down to where that happens. All right, perfect. So on form load, this function gets called. This is the function handler for when the form loads in. Kind of intuitive. So when this form comes on the screen, this bit of code runs, right? So what this bit of code is doing is saying it's taking the gaze point stream. So that's the info from the library that is from this eye tracker, right? And it's setting that to a variable, a local variable we have all the way up here. Not the best way to do things, but it's not too bad. So I location is now set to the gaze point in the nice little uh, point object. And so that happens once. That's just pointing the stream of eyeball data to the gaze point um, or to the I location variable. Then the other important part is this loop timer, which runs every five milliseconds. And every five milliseconds, we run on loop event, which is down here. Uh, if uh, anyone has questions, type it in the chat. I'm gonna try. As, hey, Lily, you have a question. You can go. Can you give me a moderator on Frankfurt's? Huh? Go to. You know Better TV? Nope. Are you gonna want this? Can I download it? Mm hmm. This doesn't seem like a question. No, this is super important, though. What is it? Haha, <laughs> 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 emotes go burr. <laughs> Oh, that's like, what BTT is. You know oh, I love Moncas. Yeah, okay, cool. I love Papegas. Okay, yeah, you can just okay, add yeah. like all of them. Pepe hands? You want the Pepe hands? Yeah, please give me the, the Pepe hands. Okay. Papega? You, you like Papega? Wait, how? What is this even doing? This is, um, this is for like it's an extension mm -hmm. for Twitch. Almost everyone uses this. I think you want for your channel to fix it. Got it. Pepe. Pepe. Oh, people copy. Ha. Huh. 
feels weird, man. I don't know. Maybe. Here. Oh, I'll, I'll do coggers. Maybe. You can use coggers. <laughs> coggers go brr. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's here. It's to your left. That's, I don't think I'll need that one, but. It's like yeah. W, so it's here. No, it's fine. This it will enhance necessary. your Twitch chat. Experience. I don't know what you're doing, actually. Is it is this just replacing this little like text snippets with the emoji? So with the animation? everyone like has this. Mm -hmm. Um, it's an extension. Like everyone. Does yeah. It. It's so just, it, it's just something I've been trying to tell. Does it turn the text snippets into yeah, these? Into ah, text. I was wondering. I thought that was a Twitch thing. No, no. I feel like they should. Mm, right. Right. Yeah. Um. Guys, where's Peppo G? Control F. P E P O G. Peppog. Where's Peppog? Okay, you can just like. Yeah. Here. You gotta, you gotta redo the page thing. Okay. Where is it? <laughs> God, this is so oh, hard. Holy shit! So I can't hard see to see it. the highlights. Peppo G. It's usually near the top, right? It's on the highlights. Oh wait, no, that, that's not it. Oh no, that is it. That is it. Go back there. Yes, we found it. What the fuck is that? It's it's Peppo G. It's like when your stream viewers are gonna take notes. Haha, <laughs> Peppo G. No, it's this way. It's this way. Okay. See? Ah, that see, one's. See, now they're taking notes. That one's epic. Peppo G, Peppo G. See, now everyone wants to learn. Okay, cool. Thanks, Lily. Okay, okay, so every five milliseconds, this snippet of code is running, right? What does the snippet of code do? This snippet of code goes to another function called write label. Write label is what draws the label to the screen. Now, Michael, couldn't you just update the text of the label? Like, um, couldn't you just write label, label? I think it's i label. I label, yeah. I label dot text. Can you just set that equal to whatever text you want in? So like fucking pepo g. Can you just set it to that anytime? Oh, you're gonna run it, and you're gonna say WinForms is dog shit because you can't do, you can't update GUI code from a different thread than it was created on, which is just like lots of uh, talk for meaning it's gonna be harder. So instead of that, you gotta check if an invoke is required, and then invoke it, and then send it like a death delegate and a method invoker. It's it's a really just big pain in the ass way to say okay. I want the text of the label to be X, you know, or whatever you want it to be. So I'm gonna run it again. I'll show you. So every five milliseconds, it's saying, okay, I want the X and Y. They can't see it. I wanna make it clear. Yeah, uh, Every five milliseconds, it's updating that label that's flying around the screen, it's updating its location and its text property. Uh, with the X and Y coordinates, if I can just look at one thing for long enough, you can, you can probably see it updating uh, in small amounts. So let me end this. Boom. And uh, you're creating a window. Virtual Studio. Okay. And ha! Ah, confused? Confused by what? The fucking fucking let me know. We know, like, it, this updates where that label is, you know, a little rectangle jotting around the screen, which represents my eye location when I look at the screen. That one's kind of epic. The language, this is C sharp. Um, and I explained why it has to be like this. Yeah. Thank you. I feel like it's... I have no idea. Do you want, like, what do you think? What do you want to know? Okay, so C sharp is a language. Language. Cool. <laughs> and like other like parts of it you want to know about? Okay. Um, maybe like just open it again. You know. Okay. Right. So at the start. We say, I want this window to yeah. open, right? Yeah. Window fucking open. Yeah, That's window, window go burn. Window yeah, good. Window, window good. Then you start a little like a loop, 
like a loop that says a timer that says every five milliseconds you say update something right like update the location of something um in that loop we're on this on loop event we just say okay we have a label we have this label up here it's a placeholder text we'd say okay i want that label to go to where his eyes are on the screen so you set the location of that label to hit the picture no no no, no. um yeah right track bar value wait 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 on loop event detection oh yeah yeah on loop event we go to write label that's uh so it calls it from on loop event just imagine this snippet being here so it's every five milliseconds it's saying do this right so every five seconds five milliseconds sorry. five milliseconds yeah do this do every five milliseconds do this yes, yes. do this yes. and what this is saying you ign just ignore that this is some stupid uh cross thread c sharp bullshit um you're doing essentially just these three things for the label you're saying okay I want to change the label's text, right? I'm going to set yeah. the label's text equal to um, this, which is just a string, uh, interpolated string that says, okay, I want to put the X of where I'm looking on the screen and then the Y of where I'm looking on the screen, right? And that's what the label says. This is, this is just to help me like debug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're saying, okay, I want the location of a label, which is why it juts around the screen, to be equal to the same. Which is why it moves around the screen exactly the same. And then we just bring it to the front. So it, essentially, it's just these two lines running every five milliseconds, right? Okay. Yeah. And that's... Um, I understand. Yeah. It's, it's pretty reasonable. Yeah. And then the next important part... Hmm. Hmm. Chat, does anyone like want to know what the next like what any questions? <laughs> okay, it's actually like hard because I already like made this, and it's really hard to look at something that's already made. Person. Like, I can't look at existing code very well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, peop Jeez, fuck. The people who made the eye tracker only built it a uh, library on .NET. So, yeah, well, like a a free library on .NET. So I just had to go with uh, C Sharp and WinForms. How do I generate the images? So the images are. I can show you that. That's. Can I stay like this? Yeah, stay. Make sure the images are just, they're not generated. They are, now I can show it. So it's actually just sitting in a folder in the debug folder. And it's just images. It's just where Waldo images. And I've gone through them and found Waldo, right? He's right over here. And like if you put that into, I think it's paint. Has a shitty program like Paint. Bring that over into Paint. I just I just use Paint, but you can see in the bottom left where the pixels get shown, wherever your cursor is. So I just mouse over Waldo. That's where he is. He's at uh, 382.10.25. So we load in a random image, just any one of those images. Is. And we process like, okay, in the title it says exactly where Wallo is, so that's where we put the button to, um, to like indicate 
where is this just for debugging and then when i actually test it on people we're gonna take the you know the button out and see how fast they can find them or they're gonna get shot man it's fucking hard to explain something that already exists <laughs> that one works good. That's cool. Yeah, it's sick. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Ah, where's Walter Bridge? So it's sick. You can watch the little text in there. Now it's true for me looking at him, false for me not looking at him. I think that's the that's the general concept. That's a cautious moment. <laughs> um, so this is an application that's like done. That's why it's really very hard to explain. It's because you know it's it's finished. It's kind of hard to get into how it works. But we still have to write the uh, the. I need to write a small web server that's gonna sit on a Raspberry Pi and wait for a call here where this is a case where you fail to find it so send it to a raspberry pi and they get maybe electrocute them i don't know fucking out maybe uh or you know that's actually the only thing you would send to the pi um and that that we can do in something that is not visual studio c sharp my god that is something we can do in visual studio code instead which is a lot better. And we can do it with like, I don't know, fucking Node.js. So I can start making this. Hmm. Let me fix. Hmm. Yeah, don't seem to be able to get it. Well, you know, we'll just go over that. Okay. Ah. Ha <laughs> ha. Software go beer. Okay. I would like to go into my file directory and you know we're gonna go over to my desktop we're gonna go over to projects and let me just do like uh, i guess it's gonna be pi chair yeah Here. open up a bash window there and um, we're gonna say npm Net. We're gonna be doing this in Node.js, by the way. Wait, what's Visual Studio Code? Visual Studio Code is just a code editor. It's like, um, it's like a Notepad plus plus, or like a like an Atom, um, or like a Sublime Text. So, set that name, and the uh, the language we're gonna be using is called Node.js, and we're gonna be running with a framework called Express. Yeah, fuck Notepad++, that shit's cringe. Visual Studio Code is just like, I wish I could use it for absolutely everything. I think I can use it for absolutely everything. All right, so we started it up. Let me just say, I'm gonna, uh, I want this to be in projects. Desktop, project. Please go to, Hi, chair. Index.js. It'll save as a JavaScript file. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, what do you like about Visual Studio Code? Um, it's just a very nice lightweight code editor. So there's a lot of customization. I don't really use a lot of the customization options, but it works very well right out of the box. Stuff like Sublime Text, you have to like kind of pay for unless you crack it. Um, and stuff like Notepad++ look like dog shit. So <clears throat> we're gonna be running with this. Uh, I would like to npm i dash dash save express. This is gonna be a really quick little web server that's going to just react to um, uh, post requests when I send it. So it's, it's like kind of, um, instead of having everything, God, I wish I had a white book. Instead of having every bit of code run in one application and like worrying about how to connect, you know, my computer to a fucking 
taser or something. Instead, we package this application in like, you know, a ball, pretend it's in a ball, and then that handles the Waldo logic, right? And some other bit of code runs somewhere else, and that handles the uh, tase someone in the ass logic. And the only reason those two can talk to each other is through like really simple HTTP requests. So they're easily manageable, very simple stuff. Uh, it's kind of like a very jank, like, you know, microservice uh, framework, I guess, kind of idea. Anyway, God, how do you write JavaScript again? <laughs> Holy shit, how do you import in JavaScript? Oh, JS, import. Oh, yeah, require. <laughs> Listen, you're going to be forgetting how to do things a lot in programming, so. Uh, import. New library. Hey man, I haven't listen a minute. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Do I want to change it? Ah, oh, fuck it, whatever. Let um, what do you want to call it? Express equal require. I also type very slow, so. Express, express, okay, now we're gonna look up express examples. And by look up, I mean go into my old projects and just fucking look at the express examples. Because there's a lot of boilerplate stuff that I don't have uh, memorized, because there's no reason to. Definitely haven't surgery. No, I don't have surgery. Just kidding. Um, Share pie chair. Um, ah, boy. And sh Drinking cup had it, damn it. Cooker. Mm. Where did the Nino run? I don't know. Go hand shit. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, Lily. What do you mean? Don't your porn. Oh. Be careful. Are There's you not allowed to like share it? Um, web server? No, oh, maybe. Modules app. Um. Take it to camera roll really quick, and then open that with Visual Studio Code. Ah, yeah, sure. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh wow. You really just like remember. Let's see it. Our Express. You can just call it like that. Yeah. Okay. Back to. I don't think it's good. This. Okay, so you can actually initialize it right there and call it, and instead of that, let's call this app. Since we, I don't think we need any libraries from Express, so we can say app dot, let's just write like a quick get request to see if it's working on the network, and I think all you gotta do is, was it app dot? No, I fucking forget again. Holy shit, spoilers are hard. Yeah, that's epic. <laughs> 